Okay guys, today we're gonna do a bit of an express warm up. Um, we're gonna get it done real quick. Um, you know, especially if you've been sitting at home all day, it's hard to jump right into class. We always wanna do some kind of a warm up and stretch. This one's gonna be real fast, so follow along with me. We're gonna do 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, now let's get those legs warmed up a little more. We're gonna do 20 squats, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, now let's get our calves warmed up. Let me turn sideways so you can see. We're just gonna do calf raises. Let's do twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, we're gonna do a half squat, so feet double shoulder width apart, lean down on one side. Good, we'll hold this for about ten seconds. Good, now switch legs. And again, about ten seconds. Okay, now we're just gonna switch back and forth a few times. Come up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now let's go into the side split, slide up as far as you can. And we're not gonna hold this one very long today. Just get that quick stretch going. Okay, now go ahead and sit back. Okay, let's reach to one side. Again, hold it for about 10 seconds. Good, and switch feet. Good, and down to the middle. Again, 10 seconds. Together. Okay, legs straight, reach down, grab your toes. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. Good, and now let's do a butterfly stretch. Excellent, guys, go ahead and stand up. Okay, let's go ahead, go ahead and come over here to the wall. Um, I'm having you do a lot of your stretch kicks on the wall. Uh, if you remember, this just helps to keep your back straight um, and your head up when you're kicking. So let's go ahead and do 10 on each leg. Hand up, give yourself a target. One, two, make sure you're breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's do side stretch kicks also. So hand on the wall, get okay, hand out. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, hopefully you're warmed up. I definitely am. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so we're gonna be working on those crescent kicks again. So if you can, get something to go ahead and kick over. You know, I got a chair here. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a chair for you guys, unless it's like a really small chair, because uh, if you hit the chair, it's gonna hurt. Get something soft, 
um, that you guys can kick over. And if you don't have anything, you can't think of anything, that's fine. Just go ahead and kick in the air. We'll just use our imagination. So let's get in that fighting stance. And uh, I'm going to do a mirror image for you guys. So if I say right leg back for you, I know I'm left leg back. I didn't lose my mind and forget what my right and my left is, okay? Let's do a quick review of that outside pressing kick. So remember the outside pressing kick. We start by turning, pivoting, and we want to make that rainbow over the pad or over whatever you're kicking or just kicking in the air. Let's do that again. Pivot, kick. Again, pivot, kick. Let's do a couple more. Pivot, kick. Turn, kick, turn, kick. Good, you guys, again, turn, kick, turn, kick. Good, switch feet, other leg now, okay? So first thing, we're gonna turn, we're gonna pivot, and we're gonna kick up and over that. Okay, again, turn, kick, turn, kick, turn, kick, turn, kick. Good, turn, kick, couple more. Turn, kick, turn, kick. The last one, turn and kick. Nice work, guys. Okay, now that you guys remember that outside pressing kick, we're gonna work on a kick called the spinning outside pressing kick, okay? So let's get in that fighting stance. Um, now, the spinning outside pressing kick, think of it kind of like a spin back kick. On a spin back kick, we turn or spin and we throw a side kick. Here we're gonna spin and throw an outside pressing kick, okay? So we wanna start by turning. Turning as much as possible. Look how I've turned and I'm now facing the camera. Now with that back leg, this will be uh, your right leg, hopefully, if you were right leg back, this is my left leg, because so I'm doing a mirror image. I'm simply gonna kick over and land behind. So I've actually done a complete 360 degree spin, a complete circle. Let's do that again. We're gonna turn and look. Okay, now it's important to keep your eyes up. A lot of people will turn and have their head down, and this kick isn't gonna work very well. So again, we're gonna throw that kick up and over our target. Notice I'm not kicking very high, I'm not kicking fast. I wanna get the technique down first. Okay, so again, turn, look, head up, chest up, and kick over whatever you're kicking over. Okay, again, turn, look, and kick over. Again, turn, look, and kick over. Now this kick can, can get you a little dizzy, so if you're getting a little dizzy, just go ahead and hit pause for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs now. I'm gonna do the other legs. I wanna see you guys switch also. Okay, so again, the spinning outside pressing kick. We're gonna turn, look. Okay, that's so how I got that body up, I have turn all the way and I kick, okay? Again, turn, look, and kick. Turn, look, kick. Turn, look, kick. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a different view so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, so hopefully you're still following along, along here. Okay, so when I turn, uh, notice how I got this leg behind me. This is the leg that's going to be kicking. It's the back leg that kicks. As I turn, okay, I keep that leg behind me. A lot of people will do this. They'll turn and let that leg move forward. And the problem with that is if I kick from here, you know, I can still do the kick, but my kick isn't as strong because my leg's a lot closer. I don't have as much uh, room to generate power. Okay, so make sure to keep that back leg behind you, okay? So again, we're gonna turn and look, kick, and land behind. Again, turn and look, kick, and land behind. I'm gonna switch feet. Okay, you guys can switch feet also. Okay, so again, we're gonna turn and look, kick, landing behind. Good. Again, turn and look, kick, landing behind. The, the key is not to kick very high right now. If you can kick high, that's awesome. Um, you know, but more importantly, we want you to have, uh, you know, your body upright and make sure you're landing all the way behind, okay? Um, and you're landing balanced. Let me show you guys, this is, this is the big problem we, we see. We see people kick and they try to kick too high and they land like this. 
You know, they land really heavy and they lose their balance. The kick should be, did you hear me hit the ground? My foot hit really lightly. Okay, I didn't crash down. Let me do it again. I'm gonna turn, look, kick. And I put the foot down when I want to. Okay, not when I fall down and lose my balance. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys practice this kick on your own now. Um, practice for about the next seven minutes. Okay, so alternating legs, right leg, left leg. If you get a little dizzy, you know, hit pause, take a break. Um, okay guys, good luck on those spinning outside press. Okay everyone, if you have your gloves, go put those on right now. If you don't have them, don't worry. Okay, so for today's sparring, um, we're gonna start off with a combination, a pretty easy combination, but we're gonna use it in a more advanced drill here in a few minutes. But I wanna go over the combination a few times with you guys. So let me start by turning sideways. So let's get in our fighting scenes. Um, so with our sparring drills the last few weeks, we've been really working and focusing on our footwork, you know, moving as we throw combinations. So let's do a jab, jab, punch. And let's back up and do that again. Okay, so when I jab, I'm gonna step jab, step jab, pivot punch. Okay, that's gonna be our combination. So start following along with me, guys. Jab, jab, punch. And back up, let me face you. Okay, jab, jab, punch. Notice how I'm keeping myself covered the whole time. The hands aren't here. Okay, it's not jab, you know there's an opening. It's jab, I'm covered. Jab, I'm covered. Punch, I'm covered. Okay, again, okay. jab, jab, punch. Just nice and slow, no speed right now, guys. Get this perfect. Jab, jab, punch. Good, again, jab, jab, punch. Okay. Again, jab, jab, punch. Nice, again, jab, jab, punch. Good, again, jab, jab, punch. Again, a little quicker. Okay. Jab, jab, punch. No quicker than me though, okay? Jab, jab, punch. Good, again, okay. jab, jab, punch. Good, again, a little quicker. Jab, jab, punch. Again, jab, jab, punch. Hopefully you guys are remembering to breathe at home. Jab, jab, punch. Again, jab, jab, punch. Again, jab, jab, punch. Jab, jab, punch. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the drill. Okay, so for the next part of the drill, you're gonna need a focus item, okay? I simply have a chair. Now, we're not gonna be hitting this, we're not gonna be kicking over it, um, so it really doesn't matter what you have, okay? Um, you could simply put a dish towel on the ground, a shoe on the ground, doesn't have to be big. That's just the item we're gonna be focusing on um, and throwing our, our combinations towards that item. So get something real quick. Again, it doesn't have to be anything major. Um, so when we're sparring, um, you know, most people when they first start to spar, they move in two directions, forwards and backwards, okay? And the problem with that is, is it becomes really predictable. You know, uh, when, when uh, you start sparring higher level people, we just simply wait. We wait because we know eventually you're only going two ways. You're going forwards or backwards, and we usually wait for you to come forwards, and we're waiting there with an attack, okay? So you need to be a little more unpredictable. You need to move laterally, and you need to learn to circle. So that's what we're gonna work on, okay? Um, you know, if you think about it, if I'm right here, if I only come here, you know, you're, you're gonna see that, okay? So this focus item, we're simply going to move to the side, move to the other side. And whenever I say combo, or actually I'll say attack, you're gonna give me that jab, jab, punch, okay? Um, so we wanna start learning to attack from different angles, different, uh, different uh, ways, not just forwards and backwards, okay? So let's go nice and slow. Again, back you know, a few feet away from your, your focus item. And if we start to move one way, Okay, and remember how we move, okay? Step, step, we're staying in that stance. 
And if I say attack, jab, jab, punch, and then return. Okay, so let's go the other way. Now I'm just going to be going kind of circling uh, around the chair. I'm not going to go all the way around. You can do that if you want, um, but you really don't have to. As long as you get used to moving side to side a little bit, okay, that's fine. Okay, and attack, jab, jab, punch, and return. Attack, jab, jab, punch, and return. You want to keep your opponent constantly guessing. They don't know where you're going to attack from. Because when you change angles, they have to change angles. If you think about it, you know, if you're lined up right in front of me, okay, um, you know, I can defend you pretty well. But if you start to circle over here, okay, now you have a straight shot at me. So I have to move. So I can't really be thinking, you know, I'm going to wait for them to attack me. I'm going to wait for them to attack me. I'm going to hit them. Now I have to think, oh, I have to watch them move, and I have to watch them move, and I have to, you know. So now you're kind of taking charge of that match a little more. Okay, let's practice some more. Okay, so circle to one side, and then the other side, and then the other side, and attack. Jab, jab, punch. And again, this drill is not about speed. It's more about technique and attack mindset, okay? You gotta remember to work on this in sparring um, because it takes a while to make this second nature, to make it a habit, okay? Eventually, if you do it enough, it's just gonna be something you don't even think about. You just do it naturally, okay? Let's keep practicing. I know I'm talking a lot here. And let's go the other way. Attack. Now, if you guys have been following all the, uh, the videos lately, you know, we've been working on a lot of different movements, okay? Um, you know, head movements. So you can start to incorporate those kind of things into this drill, okay? So if you're a little more advanced, you know, as you're moving, bouncing the feet, moving the head, working on the face, okay? Your shields, moving side to side, so put it all together now. Attack, jab, jab, punch, keep going. Attack. 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 Okay, guys, good. Take a little rest. We're going to come back for another round. Okay, everyone. So for the next round, um, this time, do whatever attacks you want. We're still going to keep it just punches for this round, uh, so you can you know keep things a little simpler and focus more on your technique. Okay, so whatever punches you want. If you're you're happy with that jab, jab punch, just keep throwing. It. You know the main thing is that you're throwing something that comes out uh, quickly um, and you know without thinking too much. You know when I say attack, you shouldn't have to think. Uh, 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 what should I throw? Okay, because if you're thinking and sparring, you're going to get hit. Okay, so keep it simple. Again, jab, jab, punch is fine, or whatever you guys want. Okay, so start adding in, you know, your extra movement if you can, um, and listen for that attack cue. Okay, so we start to move side to side. Attack. Attack. Just constantly move side to side. Okay, move side to side. You ready to attack? Attack! 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 If you can see, I'm keeping my combos real simple. I'm not going crazy with these. I want to have fast reactions. Okay, keep moving. Attack! 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 
Attack. 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 Excellent work you got. That's the end of round two. Okay, everyone, round three, final round. This time, you get to include those kicks, okay? Um, so kicks, punches, whatever you guys want. Let's put it all together. So start moving around, circling around. Attack. 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 So um, if you can, you know, get like a small ball, a plastic one, or what I actually find works really well is socks, okay? If you got a pair of socks, you know, kind of bunch them up like this. Um, and, you know, what we did last week was we threw the, the ball up and we tried to hit it out of the air. We're going to do the same drill, but now we're going to throw and hit with the same hand, okay? Now, um, let me show you guys a couple of examples here. You know, I'm going to throw that up. And then I want to hit it, and you can hopefully see, I know it went off camera, but see how they went straight? Okay, so um, we're going to try a couple different versions of this. You know, the easy version is to throw it up high. The higher you throw it, the more time you have to hit it. Okay, so we'll start by throwing it up high and hitting it. Um, and just practice that a few times, okay? Then once you feel like you got that down, Throw it only up a little bit. Ah, oh, I didn't hit that one very well. Let's try it again. Throw it up just a couple inches and try to hit it. Okay, I'll do it with the ball here. And again, you can see how I'm hitting it straight. If you're hitting it downward, you know, that's not how we throw a punch. That punch has to go straight and snap. I'm gonna throw it up just a little bit. 
Okay, you can see how it went straight and came right back to me. Okay, again, throw it up just a little bit and hit it with that same hand. Let me see if I can do it on the other hand also. Okay, okay guys, so have a little fun with that drill. Practice that for about the next five minutes um, and have fun.